welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. Last time I did stuff. Things went down. What did I do last time? I don't remember. I think I played something about freezing waterfalls and stuff in a guest commentator. Let's see, this mail toad had some mail for me last time. Mario, I have a letter for you. Certificate of commendation. Well, even we couldn't reach that star in the Honeybloom Galaxy. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so give me a reward for finding that, um special star that I got two episodes ago in the Honey Blue Galaxy. Okay. If I'm lucky I can finish World 2 in this episode. So let's see. Last time I did, yeah, the Cosmic Cove Galaxy. Now I'm gonna... Oh, the Wild Glide Galaxy. Oh no, this is a... This is a Fluzzard stage. I don't think I like Fluzzard stages. Uh, at least not the first time I played it. Maybe it won't be so bad now, but I remember really struggling with this my first go-around. We'll see how it goes. In a lot of ways, it's extremely similar to Skyward Sword in the bird controls. Yes. Except Skyward Sword used the Wii Motion Plus controls. This just used regular Wii Motion controls, but I guess it might be all the same. Fluzzard, Fluzzard, he can't fly so well, and he's shy, so shy, but he seems okay with you. Maybe he'll even carry you and glide. Come on, come on, I'll teach you to glide. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let's glide. Let's learn a tutorial. Like I said, this should be just like Skyward Sword, so after playing Skyward Sword, maybe I'll, maybe I'll be better at this. So I could not get the hang of this at first. But I've learned to fly with the bird after playing that Zelda game. So I think it's the same concept here, and one would speculate this might even have been inspiration for Skyward Sword. Oh, point down, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, because the bird controls are exactly the same. The only difference is really is, you know, Skyward Sword used Wii Motion Plus. This doesn't, but I think it just has the same effect. I'm not sure if it'll feel any different. It's been a while. Okay, Skyward Sword. Um, skill. I hope you're coming to play. I don't remember liking this. And the start, the comp metal to get here is pretty annoying. I gotta fly through all of these little um, rings to get the comp metal. Assuming I can even touch the comp metal when I've finished. Thing is, I don't remember where all the rings are, so there's a chance that I might have to replay this, and I really hope I don't have to, and I did not notice that one up, and I just passed it. Like, I'm really just sort of playing, playing very cautious here. I'm not going to dive, do anything unnecessary that I don't need to do. And yeah, maybe I'll get a little brave and dive over here. Touch that blimp some star bits. Oh, I'm scared. I'm afraid. Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. It's so scary, more of a scary game. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh, the ring. Get the comp medal, get the comp medal. I got it. Woo. Oh my gosh, what a relief. I was so nervous. Oh. Okay, so playing Skyward Sword is perfect training for this. I'm so relieved. So it looks like I will be able to finish World 2 in this episode. All that's left is the Bowser stage. Oh, thank goodness. I don't remember if I have to return here anytime soon or not for any bonus stuff. Ugh. Oh. like a hundred pounds has just been lifted from my shoulders. I don't know what I was so worried about. That was actually pretty easy now. But let me tell you, the first time I played that, I died at least five times. Just trying to get through that, really struggling. Now it's worth noting there is another Fluzzard stage and in further in a further galaxy. That's much more difficult, but I guess I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. So everything here should be finished for now. I hope. I only found one star there. I hope there wasn't a secret that I missed. Done there. Okay, this world is finished for now, but there will be other things um, that become available later. So I will have to backtrack to worlds one and two for some bonus stars. Alright. Let's go to Bowser's Lava Lair. With time to spare. Right. Approaching five minutes now. 
a big lava power party. Well, that sounds pretty significant. Why am I not invited? I'd be invited to that. I guess Mario's always invited to a Bowser lava party. Because Bowser's always trying to kill him. But he's never successful. Poor Bowser. Though I gotta admire, Bowser never ever gives up. He always tries. Even though he just fails every time. And the same can be said for Dr. Robotnik with Sonic. He always tries so hard, but he always, always fails. Oh well. Unless you get a game over, then I guess that counts as them succeeding. Who knows? Uh, with the fire, with the fire. Fire is not your friend. I don't care what you say, Raz Delta. Or should I say, Mets and Giants Lover 11? Yeah, you know who you are. I'm calling you out. Ooh. I was actually watching uh, Mets and Giants Lover 11's LP of this game. It kind of inspired me to do this game, as well as. Uh, I believe the username used to be Ram Hawk 10. Now he's Chaser Spades 10. And Mets and Giants Lover 11 is now Raz a Delta. I just tell one. Mario oh, found a blue for you. Oh wow, thank you. Good, I can really use that one coin. It's gonna be so helpful. I didn't miss anything, did I? I hope not. Is there anything interesting that way? Let me have a look see. There was a one up mushroom. I don't need it. I think I'm good to go. Star Starbits missed. <laughs> or star shaped to star bits, as I'm trying to say. I keep tripping over my words. Uh, is this worth getting? I guess I'll try. I may not be able to get all these coins in time, but that's okay. Uh, worth it. Got a one-up after all. Now, this stage kind of reminds me of the Bowser stages or the lava stages you find in Mario 3D Land. I guess they were kind of inspirations. Of course, Mario, Land, Mario 3D Land had airship stages and lava castle stages. I'm thinking this might have been some kind of inspiration. Oh my gosh, he's gonna squish me. He's gonna try. I forget what those things are called. They're not thwomps, but they're some kind of block thingies. I don't remember. I'm usually good with Mario enemy names, but I actually can't remember these. I don't remember the names of these, but they made their debut in Mario 64. I got that star going. I keep saying star coin, but it's not a star coin. It's a comet medal. Comet medal. I am so thinking about new Super Mario Brothers. I swear. Whee! Mario got sucked. Dirty, dirty, dirty. And these things actually eat the ground. Weird. But the ground regenerates, so it's okay. Ow. He chomped me. He was like Sir Chomps a lot. Do you remember that? I remember this ravioli uh, brand. It was kind of like SpaghettiOs, but it was called Sir Chomps a lot. And it had this sophisticated crocodile or alligator or something. This is my childhood where I remember bringing up. But I really liked Chomps a lot because I like pasta. It was like these little mini ravioli thingies that were stuffed. And I thought it was good. But I didn't even realize I already had that. Stupid chemic. <laughs> Like, I went for that mushroom, now you're remembering, or even paying attention, they already had six health. So, whatever. Stupid me, I should really pay attention. Yeah, did that Luma mention something about the statues? Like, yeah. They're firing their lasers. Makes me think about. Makes me think of that Dragon Ball Z episode where Captain Genius switches his to go through. Change now! Come on, I'm almost finished. There's not too much left here. Isn't there a thing up there? Is this worth getting? Nah. It's a life thingy. I'm good to go. Let's see. Gotta fight a boss. Gee, I wonder who the boss is gonna be. Now there is some, uh... There's reasoning behind this. This is like training for later. You want to get used to launching those little meteorites. My grandpa in them. Because that's the way to defeat the boss. Oh, excuse me, I got the hiccups. Ah. Huh? Well, 
It's Bowser, and he's huge! Oh, you showed up! Look at you running around like a little flea on a puny planetoid! No, it isn't puny. My massive new power! The power to flatten you like a space pancake! Hmm. Mario's determined, and young Master Loom is here to help. Okay, well, let's get this show on the road, Bowser. I'm just gonna beat your butt like always. So yeah, the whole smashing those meteorites or ground pounding those meteorites at the beginning sort of gave you a hint of how to defeat this boss. This is what you want to do. Ground pound and smack right into his ribs. And that, Bowser can't really take it. That really hurts Bowser for some reason. You can't take too many of those kinds of hits. Really simple boss. Oh, he can't hit his shell though. I forgot. I forgot. I guess that doesn't make sense. But still, I forgot. It's been so long. So, don't smash those, please. He did. Yeah. I need some practice. Pull your fist out. Oh no. Don't hurt me, Bowser. Don't hit a shell. Smack. Smacking it, smacking it, smacking his back. Smacking it, smacking it, smacking his back. I know what I'm not doing. If I recall, he's gonna try to set me ablaze. Oh gosh. Fire is not your friend. Fire is not your friend. I'm gonna try it. The falcon punch me here. Find your gut. Let's see, how many hornet heads does he have left? Just one or two? I don't recall. Either way, he's gonna try to burn me alive again. Which I don't know how Bowser breathes fire. What kind of mechanism is in his body to let him breathe fire? It doesn't make sense. I some kind of flam oh no, I missed. Yeah, it must have some kind of flammable gas in him. I don't know. I don't know. There's some flammable gas inside him, and then he can make a spark or something. And I, 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 I don't know. Mario Logic, of course, I guess he's based off of these mythical dragon creatures that can breathe fire. Whatever. That's it. That's it. That should have went faster, but oh well. But I missed. Twice. He plopped down. He shrunk back to size, but somehow he gets... He still gets bigger later. Now I remember why you're my arch nemesis. You're so annoyingly hard to squish. Good thing I won anyway, huh? While I've been playing, my master plan has moved on to the next phase. Tough luck, Mario. Okay, you're still going to be defeated. And what was your master plan again? I forgot already. I don't remember this crap. Something about putting something in the center of the universe and then having Peach bake him a cake. Was that the extent of his plan? Good plan! That's really all I remember. When Bowser talks, all I hear is blah, 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 blah. And there's my second Grand Star, and World 2 is finished for now. And as I said, other bonus stars will become unlocked later, but I don't remember at what point they become available. Sometime in the future, maybe sometime soon, but I can't recall. A portal of the next world opened up! On to World 3! But eventually some prankster comments are going to appear in those galaxies where I got the comet medals. But at what point they appear, I can't remember. Well, how about that? You fought a giant monster and then he turned tail and ran off, right? Well then, let's get on after him. With the power of this Grand Star, we can keep going through time and space, no problem. So it sounds like your special one is still with that monster, eh? Well, let's not just sit around getting older, let's get going, Captain. 
I think I give Lubba a different voice every time. I, I can't remember the last voice I give him so I can replicate it. Either way, he's still an annoying character. Still squad la We're off! I think I'm going to say that every time if I can remember. What are all those heads? These are the faces of evil. Wow, an entirely new world. Looks like the past splits up ahead. Hey, don't look at me. The captain makes the choice, am I right? Well, I'm not sure which galaxy I'll start with next time, but I'll do it. So tune next time as I choose which uh, galaxy to start with in World 3. So thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.